What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about the MonsterVerse, where it's currently headed, and why it needs to slow down. Spoilers for Godzilla vs Kong are in this video, so click away unless you want the film to be spoiled. Like now. Right now. Alrighty then, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get on with the show. The MonsterVerse started with Godzilla 2014. This film is THE film that set the grounds for the future films that follow. It has its own set of rules in place and it keeps everything quite grounded in realism, although that is a topic for another video. But the, the point is that it essentially it's, it's like the introductory film to not just Godzilla, but the entirety of the MonsterVerse. The film itself was relatively contained and it didn't stretch the bounds of being too far-fetched by any means. Flash forward to 2017's release of Kong Skull Island, and in this film we get to see what is a bit more outlandish in that there are these weird creatures and these giant monsters all jam-packed on Skull Island. I mean, it was obviously the next stepping stone into believing the MonsterVerse, and it was fine, so everyone was able to roll with it. Now we get to the latest release from the MonsterVerse, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and this film is where my problems start to truly arise. In this film, we see the Oxygen Destroyer make a cameo and basically kill Godzilla. We see Mothra get shot into powder like a mile away that somehow finds itself onto burning Godzilla. Sarazawa sacrifices himself for Godzilla. Dr. Graham gets eaten by King Ghidorah. We even get burning Godzilla. Fucking burning Godzilla. This is only the third movie of the MonsterVerse. Hell, it's only Godzilla's second MonsterVerse appearance and we've already gotten burning Godzilla. Like, we were just introduced to Sarazawa and Graham, and before any actual emotional attachment can be made to them, they just get killed in the second film. I mean, the MonsterVerse was fine, asking the audience to suspend their disbelief in way smaller portions per movie. Godzilla 2014 asked for the audience to suspend their disbelief of the idea that giant monsters could exist. That was all. It was simple, and it was something that could easily be accepted in addition to all the movie science behind the monsters if they were to actually exist. I mean, it seemed realistic, a topic that is, again, going to be covered in another video. But I mean, audiences were fine with it because they knew what they were buying their tickets for, to see Godzilla. Kong Skull Island asked to accept that all these different kinds of monsters could exist and that incredibly intelligent titans like Kong can exist, in addition to accepting how fast they can move at their height. And again, the audiences were fine with it because they knew that in 2014, they wanted to see giant monsters with a more grounded take. The films progressively ask for more without asking for too much, which was good. But then you get to King of the Monsters and suddenly it's asking you to accept that Godzilla can receive power-ups, that he can turn into burning Godzilla, all of this crazy stuff. Like, it's just too convoluted, there's too much going on, things aren't properly fleshed out, there's a ton of missed opportunities, it's just all too much. And then you read the spoilers for Godzilla vs Kong, and you hear that Mecha Godzilla is going to be in it, that Kong is going to have to build a goddamn axe. I mean, I do kind of find it awesome though. And that there may be some armor that wraps around this massive Godzilla, and he now he has a new form called Mega Godzilla, or that Godzilla and Kong can fight on an aircraft carrier. Like, like what the fuck? This is all just too much. I mean, the film wants you to accept these cartoonish physics and this outlandish world when it's forgetting about what made Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island so special. This is all just happening too quickly and there isn't any time to actually breathe. Instead of shoehorning in Mecha Godzilla into Godzilla vs Kong, the movie should just be about Godzilla fighting Kong. And I don't care how it goes, how it's executed, Mecha Godzilla will always feel forced into the film. If the MonsterVerse progressively took the time and over the course of two or three films ventured off into the wacky ideas, it would at least feel far more fleshed out and at least plausible that the things in the universe that are happening could actually happen. Not even that. It just wouldn't feel so rushed. I mean, that seems to be the problem that King of the Monsters had to me. And hearing that Godzilla vs Kong is going to have Mecha Godzilla in it, again, it just seems incredibly forced and rushed. So. I truly hate cynicism and pessimism, but Godzilla vs Kong is not looking good from the spoilers. The only thing I look forward to seeing in that movie is Kong and Godzilla fighting and Kong swinging a fucking axe. That seems so goddamn cool. 
but the movie itself it's just it's not looking good it probably is gonna end up like pacific rim uprising not only is godzilla vs kong not looking good but honestly neither is the future of the monsterverse unless it ends up slowing down with the way it's currently headed the monsterverse is built to last like two or three more movies at most and then that's it like there's no way it's gonna end up going forward without becoming a case of pacific rim uprising or just something that's so wacky and just so terrible but hey at least the monster action should be good and hopefully we get to see godzilla in the daylight anyway those are just my thoughts i'd love to hear yours down below let me know what you guys think and as always like and subscribe until next time bye bye